Hi, welcome back to another video on this channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for Freya's Cauldron, the May box. So I've had this for a while and I've not actually had a chance to actually unbox it. So I do apologise for the delay, but I'm doing it now. And here we go. So all the information about this box is going to be in the information box below so um price shipping links and everything like that um but we're just kind of going to do a quick unboxing so it kind of comes in the box like this so everything's nice and neatly packed in there um we get a list which is just flown out um which has got everything that is in the box in here so um this one is about sacred spaces, is this theme. So like I say, it just tells you what's in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see very well. And then we get a little envelope with the Book of Shadows pages in. So we always get Book of Shadows pages in it um, with all the kind of information in there. So they used to come kind of individually in the box, but now they tend to put them in an envelope. And I feel like we have a little bit more information in since they put them in an envelope. Um, but this one is kind of discussing things within a sacred space. So it's kind of got sacred blessing oil, spell candles, herb jars, information about crystals, like just, I think, items that would be in or maybe what's in the box. I'm not sure. Um... And then we have the information sheet for the crystal. So this has got green quartz. So we will likely have a green quartz crystal in the box. And then we have a info sheet on altars, um, which is there. And then sacred spaces in nature and themes to do with that. So woodlands, oceans, and then weather in the sacred space as well so lots of nice information for your book of shadows and then there's also information about a window box altar which is interesting so one of the first things in here we have a cardinal directions ritual kit spell candle, a like directions point thing, wooden compass, um, and then the actual ritual there, which seems quite interesting. A little bit different, but interesting. The next thing is a wind spell to blow away negativity. I think we can all do with that. So this just comes with a candle. So a black candle. And then the actual ritual or spell. So you just need yourself, a windy day and a black candle. So that is that there. Um, so that's quite interesting and quite a simple one to do actually, I think. Um, obviously it doesn't really require much other than wind and a candle. Um, so that's quite a nice thing to do just as a kind of starting spell for somebody. I feel like this box is really good if you are a beginner as well, uh, but also if you are a bit more advanced i feel like there's a bit for everybody um but something that doesn't really require a lot of tools is really quite nice for me because if you're a bit unorganized you don't really need a lot of prep to do it this is our next item which is oh it's a sage bundle Um, another item we get is uh, herbs. So normally we always get a herb item in the box. This is sacred blessing herbs. So sometimes it'll be an individual herb. 
and other times it will be a herb blend. I'm not actually sure what herbs this is. I'm really rubbish at identifying dried herbs, but they look like that. But I like that they come in a jar because they're nice and handy. And then this was the crystal that we got. I can't even remember what it was. What was it? Green quartz. So yeah, we always usually get a crystal in the box as well. So that's really nice. Shit. And then another thing that we usually always get in the box is an oil. So this one is a sacred blessing candle dressing oil. So they're designed to be used on candles, not on the skin. Um, but yeah, so these are really nice. I've got quite a collection of these now. Um, and they last quite a while because you obviously need a small amount. Um, but they're really nice and they always smell really nice as well. I'm not going to bother opening it to see if I can identify what it is because again I'm really bad at that as well. The next one we have is candles so we always get um, a selection of spell candles in here. These are actually quite bright I feel like. These are quite different to the ones we've had previously. Um, so a lot more vibrant summery colours especially these and even the blue I know it's not necessarily a summery color but it's very nice and vibrant um, but they're all really nice and you can actually buy the candles from her shop individually as well um, so um, and then really good price point as well so if you're looking for spell candles but you don't necessarily want a big box or anything you can get quite a few items individually um, as well not necessarily the same exact things as you get in a kit um, not in a kit sorry in the um, subscription boxes but um there is a few like similar things like if you want the herbs and the candles dressed in oils you can get things so the next thing we have is a box oh it says on the front of it what it actually is um hmm. it's a triple moon oil So that's quite nice that. We quite like that. So a nice sort of central sort of focal point for your altar there. I think that's quite a nice a nice one. Still quite simple but a nice one as well. So yeah, I wasn't quite expecting that. Um, so yeah, I do like Frey's Cauldron, I do think they are really good, um, I like the spell kits and rituals that you get in there, I also like the herb blends and things like that. Um, I do miss the, um, like kind of more, um, like exclusive items that you used to get, um, like the plaques and things like that, so like, I think it was, it was, was it the start of this year? What was it? Actually, I don't think it was the start of this year. It was the last year, I think. Um, they had the goddess plaques and things like that. And then the previous year, they had the Sabbath plaques. Um, and I just really like themes like that. Um, so I do hope that they bring out something a little bit more specific theme-wise um, of the boxes and kind of bring out more exclusive items, um, just because I did think they were really good. Um, because at the minute it's a bit unclear of what to necessarily expect, I feel like, in the box. Um, I've just found another item as well, actually, in the bottom. So I'm not sure what this is. But yeah, um, I want to, like, I'd quite like to have, like, other themes of things. Like, I really like the goddess plaques and I kind of would be interested in if they ever did, like, um, a god's um, theme of it as well. I think that would be really good. Oh, this is interesting. So it's an athame, but a wooden athame. I don't actually have an athame, so this is quite cool. 
um, that it's a wood one. But I still, it's quite good to say it's a wooden one. I feel like there's quite a lot of nice detail on there. And I suppose it's quite handy if you ever want to do a ritual that involves anathema that you want to do away from home because I'm pretty sure it's illegal to carry a knife in the UK. <laughs> so walking around with a like a, a traditional athame, you'd possibly get arrested. Um, but this, I don't think would be an issue. But yeah, um, that's quite a surprise, but quite nice. So I quite like that. I think that's everything. Yes, it looks like it. So yeah, that's quite cool. Um, I do like, like I say, the more sort of unique and exclusive items. Um, but yeah, um, I did really like the plaques and things like that. So I am um, looking forward to um, future boxes and I do hope that they do have more things like that. Um, but I think it's a little bit more surprising now because you're never quite sure what you're gonna get. But I always really enjoy the boxes anyway, so I haven't really been disappointed by anything. Um, so I think they're really good. So um, would definitely recommend them. They are one of my favourite um, subscription boxes as well. So I will leave all the information about them in the information box below. So if you want to um, have a look even just on their website or if you want to um, have a look at any boxes and things like that um, then you can do that. Obviously I've done quite a few unboxings of these already so I do have other videos so if you want to check out previous ones then that's obviously there for you to check out um, and I will see you in another video shortly hopefully well I'll probably see you in the next phrase cauldron anyway because it won't be that long to go because we're nearly at the end of May because I'm so behind in actually doing this but hopefully I will get um, some more um, other videos up and um, get back into filming like my other videos that I was planning to do at the beginning of this year um, hopefully I can get some of those actually put together and um, sorted out and things like that for you so um, that's it for now um, and bye bye for now <laughs>